Hi, welcome. In this video, we'll be uh, building a perfect data science resume for you all. We will be using few websites um, to create this data science resume. Now we all know how important it is for you guys to have a great resume because this is the first thing which you'll be sending to the company. This is the first thing that recruiter would see. And, uh, the recruiter they don't pay a lot of time um, reading your resume. So I have seen a lot of resumes where each and every point, every tool, what they have learned, and that makes the resume almost more than two to three pages. For a fresher or even for a person who has less than four years of experience, I feel uh, it's great to have only one page of resume because the recruiter will only spend not more than 10 seconds to review your resume. Yes, that's a fact guys. The resume which you send the re recruiters, they only take hardly 10 seconds to review your resume and to um, judge you to find out if you are the suitable candidate for the position or not. So we'll see in this video how to create a one page resume and impress your recruiters. I'll be also sharing few tips and tricks which I have learned in my process. Um, what are the mistakes which I have made, which I have seen people making. So let's go ahead with the video and if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. So these are few of the resumes which I have created for demo purpose to show you guys how you can put all the information in one page and um, send it to your recruiters. These are not more than one page. All of them are one page resume. And I'm not saying um, all the resumes are very perfect, but still you can make your changes accordingly. You, you'll get an idea how to make a resume. A um, lot of people, they find it very difficult to start making the resume, usually the starting point. Um, once you start building, it becomes a little bit easy. With this, you can get an idea how you can do it. So one of the resume, which is this one, um, I find it pretty much um, well built, good looking resume. It has all the information, whatever is needed, all the spaces have been utilized very properly and everything has been added. Uh, whatever necessary information is required. Even I have a picture here. Now let's go to the second one. This one is one of, again, one of the resume which I have built for demo purpose. So one of the major uh, disadvantage of this resume is this color. Uh, you do not want your resume to have a very pop-up color which is gonna stop the eyes of the recruiter. You do not want that. Um, of course, it will bring an attention of the recruiter to your resume, but this is not what you want. So the first thing is the color. Uh, if it would have been gray color or uh, bluish color, lighter shade of blue, uh, it would have looked much better. Second point is what uh, what is wrong with this resume is the utilization of spaces. Now your recruiter, yeah, they do uh, they do check all this. I mean, you if you are sending a resume, I believe it has to be perfect. That's what I believe. So as you can see, uh, there's a line here which does not really make sense. If it would have been from this part, it, if it would have uh, divided this section, it would have looked much better again. Um, the third thing which again is wrong with this resume is the difference in font. In the same paragraph, in some other font, the entire paragraph is in some other font. I've seen most people making this mistake, but really does not look good to have such mistakes in your resume. Another mistake which I have seen most of the people making is um, grammatical error and spelling mistakes. You should know that uh, a recruiter, when they are reviewing your resume, if they are sending it to your manager, they are going to read the resume. Uh, it should be short, crisp and to the point, of course, but it should not be having such grammatical error or uh, different font size or 
spelling mistakes it does not look good um, does not have a good impression second mistake is this one which has a very light color it's not appealing it does not look good is not going with this section again if you go down the best part about this resume is this section if you just glance over this section you get all the information about it. what are the core strengths of the person what are the technical skills he or she has what are the um, different contact detail the domain expertise so this is one of the great thing about this resume is this part where um, if the recruiter does, if uh, education awards and achievement these are usually section which you put in the end again the, the space thing is does not look good there's a difference here so these few things you need to consider while building your resume yes so here uh, the um, the color looks sober um, spaces have been utilized properly again it's a good resume yes there are few mistakes such as this one the color of the font should be consistent i mean here there's some other consistency here something else so these should not be overlooked now to create your resume uh, without paying any amount i would like you to take uh, to this website which is known as canva I'm sure a lot of people would know about this Canva. If you have not uh, signed up, you need to sign up. I have already signed up, so I'll just log in. So in Canva, you can create um, presentation, you can create logos, you can create YouTube thumbnails, um, anything, Instagram post, CV, card. Uh, most of the formats, they have provided it as free, but a uh, few of them you do need to pay something but the free uh, whatever format you are getting it for free are also uh, type here resume you can choose what the themes you need again you have to uh, just explore the website what it is because few of them are free few of them are not free uh, what i would recommend is you uh, should avoid these type of things uh, these type of resume this uh, looks professional for people who are content creators or uh, who have a creative background uh, in order to uh, make a data science resume or a very professional resume uh, i would highly recommend you to have something like this which has a gray scale ba background something like this it's a very short uh, i'll just increase the size you can check uh, it's a very short resume one page it's very appealing it looks good uh, again uh, let's check out something else even this one looks good it's also a very professional uh, looking resume you have a short picture here uh, whatever resume you are looking into uh, you can see that the name of the person is in very bold and it's pretty big apart from whatever is mentioned here i would recommend you guys to have these type of resume where your name is highlighted the person should know whose resume it is and they should not be searching for your um, details like your contact details or your name or what you are so here it is very clearly mentioned timothy stuart and he is a marketing assistant then there is personal profile skills work experience contact a very crisp resume so if i'm going from backward if you're putting education here uh, i would like you guys to put um, whatever recent education you have done nobody wants to know which school you went and uh, where you did your 12th and 10th uh, if you have done your masters just put your masters uh, if you have done your pg put your pg uh, the most recent two education you can put here contact detail again uh, i would not recommend you guys to put your entire address you can just skip the address um, you can put your personal email id which should be also professional it should not be 247 at the hack dot com something like this it should be your name at gmail dot com or yahoo uh, whatever you have your contact number 
your linkedin um, again your linkedin account should be having the hyperlink here so if the person wants to know about you he can just click on it and uh, can reach to your profile then you should definitely be having your github account link here again a hyperlink uh, or your portfolio link um, that will also be great uh, in the last video i've shared how to create your portfolio so that's about contact your personal profile um, should be not more than 10 to 15 15 is maximum 10 uh, sentences will be more than enough um, here you will also get few ideas how to create your uh, personal profile detail i know most of the people would find it a little difficult about writing yourself who does not have a very uh, professional english writing background so then these type of um, resumes you can get and you can definitely copy paste or not copy exact copy paste but you can change few of the words and um, you get the idea right you can next is skills of course uh, whatever skills you're having in in your data science background again another thing which i would like to highlight is uh, whatever uh, languages you know whatever tools you know you can put it in something like this manner uh, again this looks good this resume is good but again it's for a graphic designer resume that's why there's designing and all please do not put something like this in your professional resume it will not make an impact and uh, i'm searching for a resume where i can show you how you can put your languages uh, i'm not finding it right now mm. anyways uh, what you can do is you can add another uh, section and just put your skills whatever languages you know uh, work experience whatever you have done in your previous form uh, just explain it in bullet points not more than three bullet points three bullet point is more than enough and each and every bullet point should have less than two lines yes guys not more than two lines i've seen people writing you know people describing their uh, work experience like anything uh, seriously recruiter they do not want to know what you have done in your previous company in detail they want to just know uh, what what the background was what you did but not in a very descriptive manner so yeah that's about the work experience let's move to the next section academic history again uh, whatever your um, detail is what which school you went not school sorry which co which college you went um, what are the degrees that recently you have acquired so whenever you are um, searching for the resume template just um, hover over it and it, it will show you if it is free or not like this one is free this one is free this one is for pro membership this one is paid um, just check out if it is free or not uh, and accordingly you can build your resume um, as you can see most of them are free but yes few of them do require um, some amount of money um, but whatever is free they look pretty decent like for this one um, this is a very clean resume it's a very clean resume it, it has all the detail and uh, when whenever you're putting your profile picture make sure you are smiling properly uh, you should not have any very creative background um, when it comes to your profile picture uh, remember it's a very professional resume that you are building so you do not want a selfie or you do not want a group picture in it so make sure these points uh, you um, do take care of second is very clearly they have mentioned what is the name what is the address you can see uh, it's a very decent resume the spaces have been maintained very properly so it's a two page resume uh, in the second page uh, they have provided the cover letter again guys uh, cover letter is also very important when you are sending out your um, it, it provides a very good impression that the person is very serious about uh, the job so make sure you have a very decent cover letter something like this thing where you can send your cover letter to the recruiter directly either via email or via linkedin 
so once you have edited the resume and the cover letter as per your requirement um, this is a free resume so you can edit it and these are few feature which I'm sure you guys will love to ex uh, explore um, what you can do is you can click on the download button and PDF print is suggested and you can just click on download so here is your resume whatever you edited whatever you have made the changes and then you can send it across to your recruiters um, another thing which I would like to tell you is there's this uh, website called Zeti resume so if you are finding difficult to write something about yourself what you can do is you can just open this link here you will get a lot of resume templates cover letter cv templates what you can do is you can create your own resume by using word of course and take uh, examples or take hint from these type of templates uh, that also you can do so these cover letters are also very professional you can take hint how to write a cover letter using the, this website uh, remember this website is not for free it, it requires some 200 um, rupees to create your um, resume or a cover letter but if you want a very professional one you can definitely go and uh, go with this website otherwise canva is more than enough you are not paying anything you are creating your own resume in less than two hours so i would highly recommend you using canva so that's it for today's guys um, i'm sure you liked the video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up do share it with your friends and um, if you require any kind of help uh, do let me know in the comment section i would love to help you guys See you in the next video. Thank you.